In this video today, I will show you how to clone and push the scores to GitHub. Okay, so now, let's get started. And firstly, I need to open the GitHub here. And then you need to have regist register an account here. Yeah. In case you don't have a new uh, an account, you need to do registration. And here, I only already have one, so I will skip the steps to do registration. And because it's very easy, so you guys can do it by yourself. Okay, so here, when you go to the github.com and access into the account, on the left hand here, we have a new button. Okay, you go ahead to click on this one. Yeah. So here, this will direct you to the best to create a new repository. Yeah. Okay, so here, you can provide the repository name, for example. I will have uh, my testing repo or something like that here. And then I will provide a description for this repo. Yeah. Yeah. Normally I will provide some the description for my video. Uh, the content will be relating to the the, the, the project. My, the cost in my project. So for example my project is have a uh, this is the source cost. Uh, uh, e-commerce project blah blah here yeah or something like that okay and the next one you can choose the security for the project it have two options public and private yeah so the public that mean anyone over the world can search the short code and they can see the short code if I set into the the, 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 the best okay as why if you see the private yeah option if you select this option you have to provide or grant the permission for someone so after that when you grant the the op the pri privilege for that user they can see the short code okay and here I will select the public option because I want to share the short code for everyone over the world Okay, so here the next step, we have option e create a readme file. You can also skip this one. Yeah. So what is the purpose of readme file? Okay. Okay. Here I will create this one, and I will try to click on create repository. And on the repository e greatest, I will try to explain the read more a uh, readme again. Okay. Create re repository. Okay, so here, this is the readme file. So in the readme file, by default, it will copy all of the information from the description of this repository. Yeah, and for you can also click on the pencil icon here to do some modification by adding more the information for the project, like some the technology, some the the reference link. Or the link to video blah blah here yeah. okay and after that you have to provide that thing here something like that and then you have to provide some the you should provide some update here for it commit to the github here yeah. and here we have two options commit it directly to master brands or you can also create a new brands for this Okay, so here in this video, I don't want to ch I, I I don't want to try to explain more. Uh, what does it mean, master, and what is new brand, or what is it? commit directly to master, blah blah. Here, I don't want to do that. And if you want to find more detail, you can search some of the information over the internet. Okay, and here, for example, I have I have thought about something here. I can click on the commit chain button here to get updated for my for my readme file okay so here we have the finish the action to create a new repository for the project okay and here in case if you want to upload the short code to this repository so how to do it okay so here fully i will make to my dashboard first Actually, I have another another repository have been created before, and let me see what 
I click on the repository here to see the total repository of, of my and here actually I have uh, another repository name it the career first ASP.NET MVC database code first yeah and now I will I will use this one to 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 upload the short course for you yeah it would be the same thing and I this uh, it could be the same thing and I created the for the marketing repository here okay however this one is just a demonstration for you on how to create a new repository yeah so here I will go into I will go to commits and put the code to this repository okay I click on this one yeah so here on the right hand you can see we have a green button it is clone or download it yeah by default if you just want to get the shortcut from the git to the local pc you just need to click on download zip button happening here okay or you can also open it in the desktop i will click on this one to see what happened yeah so here it has its support for github desktop yeah good You can download this one and following the, the step by step to manage the, the, the GitHub source on the PC. Okay. However, in this video, I want you the GitHub data. I will I will guide you how to use another another tool, name it Shorty, to manage the source code. Okay. So here I will open the browser and try to download search in Shorty. And here I have the Sochi app.com. Click on this one. It will open the Sochi app website. I'm using the window here, so I will click on the download for window button here. This is important information, so you have to do you have to click on the checkbox here to do the agreement to accept the agreement of the the the, the uh, Sochi. Download it. Yeah. Waiting to for the file to download. Okay, so on the file it downloaded successfully on the Windows PC. You click on the setup file here. Waiting for it. Okay, it will open the search key. Okay. Okay, so here. This is the registration step. Okay. We have a Bitbucket server. Bitbucket here. Okay. Registration. Such a year free product require one time registration. Okay. Using Alaskan Bitbucket account. Okay. So here, that means you need to have a Bitbucket account in order to use the search. I will click on the Bitbucket here. I have to provide the credential to log in. And if you don't have any account for the Bitbucket, so you have to create a one account for the shell. Okay, let me try to log in again. back to this one here and you see here after I log in successfully on my browser so the registration has been completed in a short app okay click on next button here I will skip this one and click on next and preference you have to provide the information for your account I will have a chain vs chain vs node.vs at gmail.com next do you like do you have an add 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 key that's no i will click on no to create one letter okay i have a new project here close this one okay so now here you back to the 
GitHub. <cười> okay, sorry. Yeah, you click on clone or download button here, and by default, it will have two options. You can clone the source code over the HTTPS or can use the SSH. So here is it video. I will use the HTTPS. Okay. I will click copy it and clone it. Click on the clone button here. Paste the URL here. This is a git repository. So here, because I already installed the GitHub or the Sochi before in my account, so if this is the first time you are using the Sochi on your PC, so you have to provide the account. So here, let me show you uh, your tool option. And here, we have some the information for the account. Okay. Authentication. Okay, let me add a new account here. I will select the GitHub HTTP. I will use the basic option. I will have a dot at gmail.com yeah and then I have to provide the password for 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 such account uh, for the github account sorry so here I will provide the password okay log in fail github with username fail chain dot vs at gmail dot com chain vs hmm? no it fail let me try to refresh this again Yeah, Authentic authentication is OK. And now you click on OK button here. OK. I will set this one by default. Yeah, click on OK. And then I click on clone button here. Yeah, so it will clone the code from the github into my local pc okay you see here we have some information of the readme file okay good show down here very good very good okay master open in a browser yeah so you see here we have a new folder for this short code having created in the admin and document documents folder okay of course you can change the destination folder in the first configuration okay so here I will copy the short code into this folder okay I have this one okay so I can copy on the short code here and put it into this folder okay I will back to the Sochi and I will try to click on this one here the Sochi tool will be automatically reloaded and it will display some the unstated file here for me okay so here if I want to commit all of the file here into the github I will click on the state on otherwise if you only want to commit some file you just click on right click on this one or add button here so after that the unstated file will be added into the stated file at above the same thing you can able you can able to click on the plus button here on the right hand to edit at a stated file okay so here I will click on state on
because we have a lot of files, so it will take some second. Okay, so I will add a comment. Uh, add a new code or uh, careers first. Uh, ASP dot nest MVC data lake. Good foot. Okay. Click on commit button here. And of course, it will be depending on the network connection. It will slow or fast. So it will take a long or very fast time to commit the shortcode from the local to GitHub. Okay. So now here, let's wait until the commit the commit process is finished. Okay. So here I click on master. You see here the new com the new commit had in had been added into the matter branch. Yeah, okay. You can see all of the new file added here. Okay. So now I will open the file on this website. Refresh this one. Yeah. You see here we have some file had been committed to this one. Okay, so now if I if I'm trying to modify some information here, for example, we have readme. Show how to do it. I will open this one in the text editor for modification. I will try to edit some content here. Yeah. So here I've been trying to add some tag here. Okay. Save this here and I can close this one. And I will back to the search. It will reload and have we have some unstated file here. You can click on the readme and you see here there are some the chain here. This in the ping is the modification and otherwise in the shine will be some added new. Okay. State this one and we I will add the comment. Updated. Read me file again. Okay, commit. Okay, I will open back the website. Refresh this one. Yeah, I will scroll down. Okay, you see here we have some information here created by gnvs and email gn.vs at gmail.com. Okay, well, I think that's all for today. After you finish this video, you know how to manage and download, upload short code into the GitHub by using the search. I hope this video will be helpful for you. If you see any issue or you have any comment, let me know. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye bye, and see you guys in the next video.